Hey guys, uh, Johnny coming back at you. I'm out here on the water, obviously. Uh, morning after Tennessee, got beat by Georgia. That's a different story, but from my perspective, uh, Tennessee never quit. Uh, there was three plays that Tennessee did not make that could have three, three plays that could have made a difference in that game. But congratulations to Georgia. We'll get you next year. We'll see. Anyway, I thought I'd give you guys a rundown on uh, the 2022 BFL Volunteer Division uh, tournament season that I had. The first tournament of the year was on uh, Chickamauga. It's supposed to be on January 29th. And it, they had to postpone the tournament for one day. Uh, from what I was told, the reason they postponed it was because the uh, winds were so bad, and it was windy, uh, that on the lower end of the lake, we had four and five foot rollers, which they deemed it to be unsafe, which is probably a good call. Not to mention that it had snowed the night before, and it was bitterly, bitterly cold. So they postponed it for a day, got on the water, <clears throat> morning of the tournament, got my partner in the boat with me. He asked me what the game plan was. I told him we're going up the river. I would caught some fish uh, the two weeks prior, uh, you know, because I'm a weekend angler. Uh, like most guys in the BFLs, we just get to fish on the weekends and don't I don't take time off work uh, it's just you know, I need my I need my job and and so uh, I'd caught some fish some pretty good fish on rattle trap up there and uh, so I told him I said we're going up the river if we don't do any good by 11 o'clock we're going to the other end of the lake just as hard as we can go and so I got to my first spot and fished it for 30 minutes or so and not the first bump I threw rattle trap I threw Chatter bait, I threw a little bit of swim bait, I threw jerk bait, nothing. Second spot, same thing, nothing. Third spot, lost one, lost a good one. Never saw the fish, but it felt really, really good on a Alabama rig. Fished all them cuts, all them creek openings up through there, all the way, almost all the way up to the dam and nothing. 11 o'clock rolls around, I said, pull the plug, let's go. And we go to the other end of the lake and go to a creek that... I've caught fish in every time I've been there when I've, you know, since I've got my own boat and caught fish in there with the guy I used to fish with out of his boat. And Possum Creek. Uh, got in there and fished that creek for, I guess, an hour. Maybe a little longer. Nothing. Not a bite. Pulled the plug and told my, told my partner, I said, we're going to Soddy Creek. Wind was blowing down good on that end of the lake and got in Soddy Creek and went to the first spot, nothing, second spot, nothing, third spot, caught one that weighed almost five on an Alabama rig. And then I lost another one, about four pounds, on jerk bait. So that's two. And I lost two more on an Alabama rig in the three or four pound class. So I, sh I had an opportunity for a decent bag. Got to the tournament, uh, weighed that one fish in. It put me in 73rd or 4th position, maybe 75th. I can't remember. And so the next tournament, next tournament's on Cherokee. And uh, in February. And I practiced on February for two weekends in a row. Saturday and Sunday. Banging them. I mean, absolutely catching the hound out of these fish. Saturday and Sunday, uh, both Saturdays, it was, I had, you know, in Sundays I had, one day I had nine pounds, another day I had 13, another, another day I had a little over nine, and the next day, 14, so I was, I was catching them, I felt really, really confident in what I was doing, and I was catching these fish, and, and it was cold water, it, the water temperature was 47, 48 degrees, and I was catching these fish really, really shallow cranking and on jerk bait and I wasn't fishing that jerk bait in the conventional pause pause cold water let it sit pause jerk jerk let it sit I, that's I'm that's not me uh, I, I I tried it I couldn't do it I couldn't catch them and I was really 
jerking the hound out of that jerk bait. I mean, I was moving it fast and I was catching them. And then Mother Nature did what she always does. She decides she wants to throw us a freaking curveball, and it came a snowstorm in East Tennessee to beat snowstorms. It snowed probably, we had probably 12 inches of snow on the ground, and it got cold, real cold. No choice. They had to reschedule the tournament for a later date. To be determined is what they said. So the that puts us the next tournament in... South Holston in uh, April, late April, and uh, practiced there. Had good bags, had good bags in practice, decent bags. Got there, and I had a pretty good tournament. I had my five and lost one that would have added another pound and a half to two pounds to the, to the total. Uh, caught those fish on... Uh, swim bait and a little four inch worm and uh tried top water couldn't get him to touch top water a buddy of mine absolutely whacked him on top water i couldn't but i ended up 73rd in that tournament and everybody was catching him in that and the weights were stacked and so at the end of the south holston tournament i'm in 35th in points overall so i'm feeling good about making the making the regional and so the next tournament is on Douglas, and it's in May. And I go to Douglas, had good practices, really good practices, catching anywhere from 11 to 15 pounds. One day I had nine. And uh, felt confident in what I was doing. Got down there tournament day, caught one fish, and lost four. So that was, this has been the story of my year. Chickamauga, caught one, lost four. Douglas caught one, lost four, and that one fish dropped me down to 53rd in points. So the very next day, they rescheduled and they, they they gave us a heads up on it already, you know, a month ahead of time, and rescheduled the Cherokee tournament to the very next day on uh, on Cherokee. Got the Cherokee. Never had the first lit. Never had the first bite. Not the first bite at all, and that dropped me way down in points. Way down way down and sometimes things happen in life that uh, you, that's completely out of your control and I'm not talking about fishing and I had one of those moments and it really really screwed me up right here and it, it has nothing to do with my marriage at all I've got a great marriage I mean, it's never been better and this really screwed my brain up man for a long time a long time so I, I wasn't right in the head. I tried fishing through it. I tried practicing through it, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Couldn't do it. And so I felt like I was doing my sponsor a, uh, a disservice of his money, so I told him I reimbursed him his entry fee money and handed it right back to him and said, listen, I, I just can't do it. And he said uh, he understood. And... and uh, it messed with me, man. I mean, it really messed with me for a long time. And so I didn't fish the two-day super tournament. And that's my that's my story. And life happens. Uh, you, you learn to control the things you can control and let go of the things you can't. And it's in God's hands. And I'm just not going to play the games that this uh, that's being played. And, and uh, it's just the way it is. So the 2022 season is 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 done. Don't know what I'll do uh, with the 2023 season. I'm leaning very heavily towards fishing it. Uh, leaning very heavily towards fishing. So I'm out here on the water, clearing my head. Uh, first time I've been on the water in about three weeks. Uh, I love it. I, uh, you know, God's good to me. I don't deserve the blessings that He's given me. But no matter, remember, no matter where you are. Where you remember, you know, there you are, wherever you're ever you at, that's where you're at. And, and so wherever you are, take your time and soak it in. And and I hope you're having a great day. And I really hope that you're bagging some fish up. So go bag them up. God bless you. See you.